What up nerds, I'm Jay Sharif and I recently made a video explaining how to activate your DJI Action 2. In this video I'm going to show you how to perform a firmware update. If you're having trouble wirelessly connecting your camera to your phone then check out the activation video first because that has easy solutions to connection problems. Now, in the past, DJI offered you two options for updating firmware. You could either do it through the DJI Mimo app, or you could download the new firmware onto your camera's SD card, and it would update the firmware once the card was inserted. Unfortunately, now, the only way to update firmware is through the Mimo app. That's very annoying because it's always good to have a backup method in case you can't do it through Mimo. Hopefully, DJI will make the SD card option available again in the future. Until then, this is the only way to do it. So, before you start the firmware update, make sure your phone and your camera have plenty of battery charge available. Also, make sure you have the latest version of the DJI Mimo app installed. The Mimo app should be able to find and connect with your camera, otherwise this process won't work. If it can't connect, then you need to go and watch my activation video. If your camera is successfully connected to your Mimo app, then it should automatically alert you when a new firmware is available. Before you tap on the option to download the new firmware, you might want to turn off your camera. The reason being that your camera connects to your phone via Wi-Fi. If your camera and phone are connected, then the new firmware will be downloaded via mobile data, and that can be expensive. Once the new firmware has been downloaded, tap Install on your phone screen. The process should take less than five minutes, during which time you will see confirmation on your camera screen that it is being updated. Once it's done, the camera should restart with the new firmware, and the process is complete. However, you may find that some settings have changed back to the default settings, so, for example, you may have to select the camera language all over again. In fact, you may need to go through the menus to set up everything again, just how you like it. That's always a pain, but DJI have a reputation for working really hard on their firmware updates, and it's usually a very good idea to update the firmware on DJI cameras if the option is available. So that's it. Your DJI Action 2 is now up to date. Hopefully, it's now running better than before. That's all for today. I'll be back with another video very soon. Later, nerds.